in this example, we are going to find the absolute extrema for the function f of x equals x to the two thirds plus one on the interval negative eight positive eight. The endpoint A is negative eight. The endpoint B is positive eight. For the absolute extrema, starting with step number one, to find the critical value. By using the derivative, in this case, the derivative is 2 over 3 times x to the power negative 1 third plus 0, which can be written as 2 over 3 times 1 over x to the power 1 third. We call the power 1 third is the same as the cube root. Therefore, the first derivative of the f prime is 2 over 3 times square, uh, the third root of the x. Now we see the derivative in this case as the, the quotient form or the rational form, the numerator over the denominator. I'm going to put a note over here. So this one is the numerator. The bottom is the denominator in the most simplified form. So for the case that we can find the critical value different two cases, the case that f prime equals zero or the f prime is undefined. The case of the f prime is zero is from the numerator of the expression equals zero. The case of the undefined case is going to be from the denominator equals zero. In this case, the numerator is two. Is two equals zero? No, it's never be zero. So we will not get any critical value from the case of f prime equals zero. Now move on to the second case, the case of the f prime undefined which means we're going to let the denominator be zero. This way, we can see that x equals zero is the critical value. We're going to verify whether this number is valid or not to use for the later process by checking the value, whether it is within the left and right end. The left end is negative eight. The right end is positive eight. The value zero is somewhere in between. So now we obtain one critical value, which is at x equals zero. Next part, we are going to compute the function value at each point. That's the function at the left end, the function at the right end, and the function value at the critical value. So at negative eight, the value is negative 8 to the power 2 thirds plus 1. That will give us negative 2 to the second power, which is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. For the value 8, 8 to the power 2 thirds plus 5, we obtain plus 1, sorry, equals 5 as well. And the function value is 0. It's going to be 0 plus 1 or 1. After we derive all the function values, the left end, the right end, and the function at the critical point, we identify which one is the largest, which one is the smallest. The largest appear at two different points, negative 8, positive 8. And the smallest occurs at x equals 0 that you see on the graph. And in step 3, we're going to wrap up or um, summarize it. <clears throat> so number three, so we can say that the absolute maximum value is the function value at negative eight, which is the same as the function value at positive eight equals five. And the absolute minimum value is the function value at zero or the value one. And we can verify by looking at the picture here.